I need to borrow your cufflinks and your shirt studs. It's another black tie night at the opera for me and Blair. Oh, yeah? What's playing? I don't know, something in French. <laughs> but I, I thought they were all Italian. Italian, French? What difference does it make? It's 150 a pop, and that makes it good. <laughs> so you've been dating this society girl for a couple of weeks? Mm hmm How much longer do you think you can afford this little charade? What? This is exciting. Blair has opened up a whole new world for me. Oh, yeah, debt, higher payment options, and don't forget living beyond your means. I am not living beyond my means. Have you forgotten? that I am a prominent internet executive? Well, what does that mean? That means I can keep this up for a week if I don't eat. <laughs> can't believe, can't believe how the world has changed. Feeling good with my life and I'm reaching for my dreams. What a night, huh? Mm, what a morning. Oh, I had a great time. The opera, the mm. carriage ride along Michigan Avenue. Mm, and what better way to top off an evening of elegance than with a Grand Slam breakfast combo for two? <laughs> The usual, Jay. There you go. <laughs> well, I tell you, you, come here twice, they think they know you. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Uh, see what I mean? You must be Blair. Yes. Hey, I'm Gordon. This is my wife, Sherry. Hi. Great news, Jay. I sold that desk of yours on eBay. Mm. What's eBay? It's a way of auctioning off your antiques and collectibles over the internet. In other words, a way to get rid of your useless crap? <laughs> Thank you, Gordon. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I found this junk in your desk drawer. Oh, oh. Ooh, Anteater Man. Jay, Anteater Man. Who? I'm sorry, I don't know him. Who? <laughs> Only the greatest superhero in comic book history. You know, this is really funny. After all these years, the A-Man was sitting right there in your desk. Yeah, Gordon, real funny. <laughs> now, who are you kidding? You were a major Anteater Man fan. You even dressed like him for Halloween. I was Freddy Krueger. Oh, no, no, no. You remember you wore that big, goofy mask? I said I was Freddy, man. Oh, I could have swore you had that long, sticky tongue. You'd be flicking candy out of other kids' bags. <laughs> Those were finger blades. So this was a real popular comic? Yeah, had a cult following. Gordon. First issue? Only issue. Mm, I just love these crepes. Mm. Those aren't crepes. Those are pancakes. <laughs> Put that down. The Grand Slam combo always comes with crepes. That is unacceptable. We out of here. Well, it was nice meeting you. We must do this again. Yes, we must. <laughs> Where are you? I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Getting you water. You want ice? I know you like ice. I love ice. <laughs> I am so sorry, but I got a live one here, honey. OK, now repeat after me. My name is Sherry, and I have a problem. My name is Sherry, and I have an unbelievable bit on Ant Eater Man. <laughs> Would you look at yourself? It's four in the morning, and we haven't slept together like man and wife in three days. Is this what our marriage is worth to you, a 25-cent comic? It's more than 25 cents, Gordon. Look, I don't care how much it is. Is that a period or a comma? <laughs> Hello? Jay, get online right now. Oh. Gordon, I told you, I'm not going to that chat room again. I know the Asian lesbian babysitter is really you. All right, whatever. Listen, Shari put the anti Man comic book on eBay. Guess what the bit is? Oh, come on, Gordon. It's four in the morning, man. I'm, I'm not playing. Come on, just guess. All right, a million dollars. Don't just guess. Hey, man, I'm going to sleep, for real. Thirty thousand dollars. I'm up. <laughs> Hey, Blair. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I, I know it's four in the morning. This is not a booty call. Look, look, look. <laughs> what, what are you doing this weekend? You been to Miami lately? Well, how does South Beach sound? And you like that, don't you? Yeah, I know you did. We can finally get that two-bedroom apartment. With two bathrooms. No waiting. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, no, no. There he is. Ah, look at you, look at you. All right, we go, we go, we go. Look at you, look at you. It's a new shirt? That's nice. Oh, this old thing? Come on, it's a rag. Ah, but you, you bring it to life. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so, where can I get you two big spenders? Order what you want, Jay. It's on me. Oh, no, 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 Gordon. It's my treat today. In that case, I'd like to see a wine list. Well, how about if I make it easy for you? We've got white and off-white. <laughs> what goes well with the bottomless bucket of buffalo wings? A coordinary bypass? <laughs> Done. And, uh, extra ranch. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, pretzels for the house. <laughs> the pretzels are free. <laughs> Top them off. <laughs> Look at you, man, throwing around money like you just made $30,000. I, I did. Did what? I made $30,000. Whoa. I think you're confused, Gordo, about my anteater man. Don't you remember? Yeah, I remember. I remember I own the comic. No, 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 no. I bought it from Joe Riggio, the guy who always smelled like asparagus. No. <laughs> Joseph Riggio? Smelled like rubber cement. No, that was Leo Laughlin. <laughs> no, Leo Laughlin had the lazy eye. No, that was Joseph Riccio. <laughs> Look, who cares? The point is the comic book is mine and I am not giving up my two bathtubs. <laughs> what, who are you hallucinating? Now look, I'm taking Blair to Miami next weekend. That's right, first class, room service, the works. And in case you've forgotten, counselor, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Yeah, that's you. That's you. That's you. That's you right there. Oh, well, you know what, Jay? That's real mature. Yeah. You got the comic. Yes, I well, have it. All right. I've... I've got the wings! What's up? I, uh, I forgot the wrench. I guess you'll just have to eat without it. I can't. I have gastrointestinal issues. I know. Can you believe the nerve of this guy? He wants the 30000 all to himself. He's so consumed with greed. That's my 30000 <laughs> It's not 30,000 at stake anymore, Gordy. Oh, I know. It's about friendship. No. It's about $75,000. What? I opened up the bidding to the international market. Some guy in England bit and bit big. God save the queen! Forget about that two-bedroom apartment. We can get a condo. Whoa. You think Jay knows? Hello? <laughs> Anyone home? Frazier. Hamill, look, we can keep going around and around about whose comic this is, even though I know it's mine. And I'm sure you have to get going, so... <laughs> but I still feel conflicted about this. Really, I do. I bet you do. No, really, I do. <laughs> now, I'm taking Blair to Miami next weekend, and I don't want this hovering over our little weekend excursion, which is why I'm here to offer you a check for $15,000. Consider it a very, very generous finder's fee. Uh. Wow, thanks, Jay. <laughs> I'll take that. Woo-wee! <laughs> Mr. Generosity, 
Well, you know what? I can't accept this. You know about the Englishman, don't you? Of course I know about the Englishman. What kind of idiot do you think I am? Well, you just ripped up $15,000. Whose side are you on? I'm on the side of the condo with a view, honey. It's my comic. I did my part, and you're gonna be very sorry you ripped that up because $15,000 was my final offer. You will never hear from me again on this issue. I gotta get that comic back. I mean, imagine the nerve of a guy just staking my comic. $20,000, and that's my final offer. <laughs> All right, Jay, what do you want? Well, I'm in a little dispute about this comic book. Nobody cares. <laughs> it could be worth $85,000, Marcus. Speak very slowly, don't leave out any details. <laughs> the other person involved in this little dispute is your colleague, Gordon Hamill. I'll take the case. Slow your roll, counselor. All right, this is not a case. I'm just coming to you for some friendly legal advice. Either way, my legal fee is $400 an hour. $400 an hour? What happened to professional courtesy? You got in here without an appointment. My office is next door. The problem is Gordon. I'm feeling kind of guilty. Okay, let me tell you something about your friend Gordon. He's sharp as a tech. <laughs> Gordon? Gordon Ham. Oh, yeah. Don't let him fool you. He's gonna go after you with everything he's got. You have to go after him with everything you've got. He's my friend. Exactly. And would a friend offer a mere $20,000 when he knew the comic book was worth five times that? Will you take my case? Gordon, come on, man. You don't need me. You're a trained professional. You went to a semi-fully accredited legal institute. <laughs> huh? So will you take my case? It'll be my pleasure. Well, will you at least validate my parking? <laughs> what happened to your parking pass? M my wife sold it on eBay. I don't suppose you would... Oh, got you covered. We validate. You can take all you want, in case oh. you want to stop and get a sandwich. <laughs> you know, I could get used to this place. Oh, yeah, it has a certain pedestrian charm. <laughs> Speaking of charm, after South Beach, you know where we must go? Stad. Oh, they have the most wonderful boutiques there. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe that's too extravagant for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. One day soon, we will stop and shop in Stad. <laughs> oh, you are so cute. I will see you tonight. Mm. Hey. Hey. Yeah, you mind if I sit? If you must. I don't say anything, because... <laughs> I don't say anything, because I need to get this off of my chest. But last night I couldn't sleep, and I came to realize one undisputable truth. Everything in my life that is good was because of you. Now, I don't know whose comic book that is, and I don't care. Because the truth is, Jay, I could never repay you the debt I owe you for simply being my friend. Jay, you complete me. Gordon, you had me at hay. Hey, bozo. Get out of my booth. Oh, since when is this your booth? Uh, since I discovered this place. Oh, first it's the comic, now it's this place. What's next, electricity? <laughs> hey, you want the booth? You take the booth. Believe me, this is not over. Good. Hey, Judy. Yeah. I get someone to take care of this? Oh, you betcha. As soon as you take care of this. <laughs> Marcus, you're my lawyer. Tell me something. I offered Gordon $15,000. He just threw that back in my face. I got a girl that wants to go to Stad. I don't even know where the hell that is. <laughs> Help me. 
Okay, first of all, Stad is a city in Switzerland. They have great boutiques there. I'm not paying you for that. Okay, look, man, you gotta calm down, all right? Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get Gordon in here. We're gonna settle this thing once and for all. Get him in here. There you go. Gordon? Hello? <laughs> yeah, Gordon, I need you to get down here. Hello? <laughs> Hello? How do I work this thing? Counselor, take your finger off the button. Hello? <laughs> Look, I'm tired of you guys pulling these jokes on me. What is this? It's an intercom, you imbecile. Gordon, get your butt in here. <laughs> So, having a little problem with the, uh, the intercom. What are you doing here? I came to seek some legal advice. Marcus? You hired Marcus? Why would you hire Marcus? Because he's one of the best litigators in all of Chicago. Well, I guess the billboards are working. <laughs> Who are you kidding, counselor? You came to see me. You came to see him, too? Oh, that uh, uh, John, it was an informal conversation. We were just, uh... Riffing. Let's get down to business. We're gonna solve this comic book dispute once and for all. Agreed? Agreed. Ergo. <laughs> ergo what? That's not what ergo means. Agreed. Here to four. <laughs> Jay, can you tell me about the comic book? All right, it's simple. I bought it, I kept it, I have it. <laughs> Damn it, I'm satisfied. I mean, I, I see no real reason to belabor this. Mm -mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you gonna ask me some questions? All right, counselor. <clears throat> if, in fact, you own this comic book through some dubious three-way trade, why did it end up in Mr. Fraser's desk for all these years? Mm, yeah, I wanna know that. Okay, finally. My side of the story. Now, as I recall... Oh, recall? <laughs> Look, as I remember... Remember? <laughs> okay, I'm pretty certain oh, he went... Oh, pretty certain? Oh, wait, I, I got a degree on a while. I can handle this. <laughs> So, what you're saying is you don't remember whether you lent it, borrowed it, traded it, or, in fact, ever even owned it. No, no, that's not what I meant. What, what you meant? What you meant? You recall? You remember? Uh, Counselor, you're building yourself a hell of a case. Hey, how about a little professional courtesy? How about you tell the truth? <laughs> so that the three of us can go home. I am telling the truth. I mean, how many times do I have to tell you guys? I got it from Leo Laughlin, I lent it to Jay, and that's how it got in his desk. Wait a minute. I thought it was Joseph Reggio. No, it was Joseph Laughlin. I mean, I mean, Leo Rio. Who's Leo Rio de Janeiro? What? <laughs> I don't remember. Just leave me alone. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Marcus, 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 Marcus. Just, just, just ease up a bit. Ease what? Up. Ease up for what? This is the fun part. He's about to cry. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why you became a lawyer, to help people. Well, that's part of who I am, yes. <laughs> I think we can take it from here, man. Look, Gordo. What? Why don't we just split the money 50-50? Well, if you feel you have no case, <laughs> since, since you are my oldest friend, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll cut you some slack. Deal? Uh, it's fine by me. What's that, three and a half minutes? Round it up to the nearest hour times two. I'm gonna go photocopy your bill. Good session. <laughs> well, hold on. I'm not paying him. Let him sue us. Yeah, I'll represent us. I'll pay you. <laughs> Do you realize what you have here? Anteater man number one in mint condition can bring at least $100,000. Mm -hmm. And that is why you are here. Oh, I imagine you have lots of priceless memories of this comic book. Well, let's just say they're memories. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm glad you two feel that way because that's all you have. What? Yeah, what about a hundred lodge? Yeah, what about it? You see, once the sea monkey's coupon has been ripped out, the monetary value falls to, say, four dollars and change. Sea monkeys? Who cut out the coupon for the sea monkeys? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, forget about the sea monkeys coupon. You mean to tell me this whole thing is worthless? Oh, no, 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 no. The case is quite lovely. It's worth at least thirty dollars. Great, I paid fifty for it. So much for South Beach. Well, I'm off. I have a Casper comic waiting for me in Stad. You know they have some very... I know. Okay, toodaloo.
Gordon? Yeah. And did you cut out the Sea Monkeys coupon? As I recall. Oh, recall? Well, as I remember. Remember? All right, look, I'm pretty certain. Oh, you're that... pretty certain? 